How you doing? Good, good. Sunny. I'm happy. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Good. Makes the two of us. Thanks for coming. No worries. I wanted to say what was going on with me and Maver and just to tell you what, what's what what's what really. At the end of the pool party, I was I was very much ready to say to Maver, and I did, that I like I want to be exclusive. I don't really want to get with anyone else. And she very much agreed, so I think it was only right for me to tell you rather than hear it from someone else. Okay. But what I, I wanted to say that I like her really and Do you? Yeah. I really do like her. She met some of the family yesterday. We're spending, I, at the end of the day, we're, she makes me happy and I believe I make her happy. I don't know, I, I still find it, I still struggle to see wh how you're still okay with knowing that there are, that she, she's in this kind of, she's trying to move on and, and you are that guy mm. because you're there, but it's just because you're there at the moment. You know, she still sends me those messages, um, you know, saying that I still love you and James is just basically like, he's the second choice. He's ba she's basically making it seem like if you, or well, she did say it, she said, if you commit to me now, I will drop James in a second. So and I just don't believe you, Miles. I don't believe you. And I don't want to turn this into a, a shouting match between me and you because I'm obviously taking her word over yours and whatever you say, I, I won't, in that regard, I won't believe. And I know you care about the girl, but you really just need to let her go. I'm, I'm always going to be there in her life. Unfortunately, and there's as, a connection. That... As I said, I'm going to respect that. But as long as it's, as long as it's, as long as it's not causing us, me and her, not to move on, then I'm completely okay with it. I hope you, um, I hope you respect her. So do I. You'll be hearing from me. That's for sure. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, and you? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm well. Yeah, I got to have a little chat with your, your guy, your James. Yeah. I, I... I don't really understand why you said to him that apparently he was my second choice and obviously you're still the the one. <laughs> okay, that does sound bad. Yeah, I... it's not really kind because you don't know anything. Yeah, no, I, I didn't, I didn't, my attention when I was talking to him actually were very uh, polite and uh, I did you know, specify that I didn't want to meddle with you guys at all. You always think that you're the one, you're the only one and it's not true. And, and now I'm, I'm finally happy, and it's not my second choice, it's my first choice right now. I just hope that he really, truly makes you happy and that... I, I just hope he, never, he doesn't hurt you. I still have some sort of attachment and care for you, and I know I don't deserve that Why all. you let me go? Why did I let you go? Mainly fear. Hmm? Fear that I know that you are the one and I'm scared that right now it's not working. But that I know wherever you'll be or wherever I'll be, I'll always have that undying love for you. And unfortunately, that connection might go one day for you, but I don't think it will ever go for me. And I'm not allowed to say that, and I know I'm not allowed to say that, but I have to somehow speak the truth. That's selfish. No, because I've, I've, I'm, I'm letting you go now. I'm letting you do your thing. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to meddle with you and James. I really am not. Just like look at me in the eyes and just tell me that maybe I don't love you anymore. I can't say that because that's not the, that's not the, that's not the truth. That just doesn't make sense. You're with James now. I have no time for this anymore, seriously. James is waiting for me downstairs, I'm gonna go. But it's it's always nice to see you anyway. But I, I, I literally don't know what to say to you anymore.